The Miller Lite Big Ten Challenge Series at Irwindale Speedway is at the halfway point. And for one driver, this year's challenge to stay out front in the face of some tough competition has been anything but easy. <laughs> right, it's been everything but easy, I guess, you know. Uh, my team's been doing a killer job working their butts off, and Miller Lite brought this deal to the table, and I, I think that's great. You know, I want to thank Miller Lite and everybody out there. Meanwhile, the other would-be challengers like the idea of applying the pressure. I haven't had much heat for him this season, but whatever I got, I'm bringing to Ben Walker tonight. Tonight, the heat is on Ben Walker, and we're going to turn it on. One thing's for sure, the California sun is hot in July, and the NASCAR competition is heating up on the half mile at Irwindale. Get ready, it's the Dodge Dealer 75, next on Fox Sports Net. And the heat is on. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Irwindale Speedway, where, yes, that's exactly what it's all about for the Janet King Super Late Model Division, and it's just going to get hotter. I'm Pat Patterson, working alongside my buddy Bruce Flanders, and we're getting set for the Southern California Dodge Dealer 75 here at the Dale. Bruce, good to see you. And it's got to be a guy named Tony Green who's got to be the one everybody's want to watch here because he has been fast lately. Absolutely. We've got a lot to tell you about as we're... Glad you're alongside on Fox Sports Net for the best you can see as far as these late model drivers, super late model drivers here in Southern California from all around. You'll never see better racers battling on a better racetrack than you're going to see here tonight. So stick around, everybody. We'll take this time out. We'll come back with a lot of pre-race right after this. Tonight's telecast of the Southern California Dodge Dealers 75 at Irwindale Speedway is brought to you by Dodge. Grab life by the horn. By the Auto Club of Southern California, a century of service. By Miller Lite, where there's a race fan, there's a Miller Lite. By Janet King, proud sponsors of the Janet King Super Late Model Series at Irwindale and the official janitorial service of Irwindale Speedway. And by the Four Points Sheridan in Monrovia, the official hotel of Irwindale Speedway. For reservations, call 626-357-5211. Welcome back to Irwindale Speedway. Pat Patterson alongside Bruce Flanders. And qualifying was held earlier this afternoon. And we'll meet the third member of our broadcast team, Jennifer Saltis, who caught up with the fast qualifier earlier. Well, not only did Brandon Loverock better the rest of the field by nearly a tenth, but with his qualifying time of 18.2, he bettered any practice time by nearly three tenths. Brandon, that's a quick lap around this track and more so quicker than the rest of this field behind you. Yeah, you know, the car felt great. The crew put a killer setup under me and... I had the easy job just driving it around. You mentioned to me that these guys are working on this car. You're a little worried about the clutch tonight. Ah, uh, you know, we're just, we're up there in the points, you know, so I can't take any chances, you know, so we're just checking everything out pretty good and, you know, hopefully we'll be all right. We saw a quote from you the other day that said, I'd rather beat him on the track, and you're talking about Tony Green and letting him borrow your backup car. Tell us a little bit about that. You know, I just didn't want him to go out like that, you know. I just, you know, to miss a race and, you know, he had such a killer season, you know, I just rather, you know, beat the guy on the track instead of, you know, going out like that. Well, congratulations, a true competitor, Brandon Love Rock, your pole sitter tonight in the Super Late Model Division. Thanks very much, Jennifer. We'll look forward to uh, hearing from you later on in the broadcast. Let's, uh, Bruce, take a look at uh, the current points for both the uh, Miller Lite Big Ten Challenge Series, which is a race within the series this year. Tell us about those. Tony Green is the points leader, but not by a lot over the Brandon Loverock car. Then Ben Walker is still in contention, along with Rip Michaels. Fifth in the points is Kazuto Yanagawa from Nagoya, Japan. Then Nathan Wolf, Tommy Fry, Tony Bruncati, Dan Moore, and Nick DeFazio of the top ten. Here we look at the Miller Lite Big Ten points, where Ben Walker is leading that one. Keith Spangler is in the second spot. Nathan Wolf is third, and Brandon Loverock fourth. And then KZ uh, Yanagawa there in the fifth spot. Then Tony Green, Rip Michaels, Tony Brincotti, Tommy Fry, and Dan Moore showing up in the 10th spot. So you got two big championships that you could win here, the track championship and, of course, the Miller Lite championship as well. Let's uh, talk a little bit about uh, the weather here tonight at the racetrack. Bruce, it is an absolutely 
perfect night for racing here in uh, Southern California. It was a very warm afternoon. Temperatures over the 90s, but it is cool off now to a very lovely 72 degrees. Humidity is down to 60%. There's a light breeze blowing, and they say it's going to be hazy, but I think we'll be able to see the racing. And the Jana King Super Late models are, uh, wow, what a great race car they are in terms of uh, a full-blown, you know, uh, race car. You can't ask for anything better here. They're almost like a tour car. As we talk about the track here a little bit at Irwindale. The track is a genuine half mile, 6, 9, 12 degree graduated banking as it goes up the corners. And both straightaways are also banked at 3 degrees. Great three wide racing here at Irwindale as you uh, watch the safety crews down there and the cars uh, circulating around as they'll start to warm those tires up. Uh, we got a real uh, variety of race cars tonight, Bruce. Chevys, Fords, Dodges, maximum cubic inches, 360, the wheelbase 108. 425 horsepower is a real solid number out of most of these cars. They're a manual transmission. Minimum weight at the end of the race when you go through tech, 3,000 pounds, and there's Goodyear tires on all four corners. We're going 75 laps tonight. It's the Southern California Dodge Dealer 75. Glad you're along board. We're uh, going to take another quick timeout. We'll come back and uh, get this one started, and we'll have your starting lineup when we come back. Stick around, everybody. And welcome back to Irwindale Speedway, everybody. Pat Patterson, Bruce Flanders, Jennifer Saltis, and the Southern California Dodge Dealer 75. This is going to be a good one tonight for the Jana King super late model cars so uh, we'll turn them loose in just a few minutes and let them warm these tires up before we get an official start but bruce here's some of the stories we've got to watch tonight track conditions this was a hot racetrack when they qualified this afternoon completely different racetrack to practice on and qualify on and now the hours have passed and it has really cooled off two big stories here uh, ben walker and certainly tony green tony green battling for the championship uh, of the overall series here Ben Walker also in that fight as well, but leading the Miller Lite points tonight. He's the guy they got to put some heat on. And both of them are just bloody awful fast when they want it. And saving the tires here, as we talked about, a hot temperature. Now we're going to just run the tires in. That's all we're doing right now with the race cars. This is not, official uh, not an official start. We're just heating up the tires. But having some tires towards the 60 lap mark here is going to be a factor in who's going to win this. Tournament. Oh, yeah. If you have burnt your tires to the ground when there's 15 laps left, you're toast. All right. Let's take a look at the starting lineup for this one tonight. And uh, Tony Brunkotti is going to lead the way. Ben Walker will share the front row. Then the second row is Brandon Lovrock and Kazuto Yanagawa. Nick DeFazio and Tony Green make up the third row. It's Tommy Fry and Rip Michaels on the fourth row. And Charlie Utz making a rare appearance. The guy was hurt here last year. And Nathan Wolf make up row five. Yeah, great to see Charlie back. Timmy Woods back there in row six along with Kevin Byrne. And then it's Jeff Seifert along with Keith Spangler. Gary Jenkins and Brent Reynolds. Then it's Dan Moore and Brent Landis. Stefan Sadler and... I never get this guy's Taka name. Taka Mizuki. Taka Mizuki. Taka Mizuki is uh, back there. Then it got Dion Young as well. Chris Skelton, Ed Hoffman, and Alan Sadler make up the rest of the field. There are 24 of them out there. Well, actually, I think we hurt the transmission on somebody just on the fire up. Yeah, we certainly did. We got one car missing out of that group that uh, is already parked in the infield there. As uh, we now have got these tires warmed up, 75 laps the distance tonight for the Southern California Dodge Dealers. What a great night they had at the racetrack tonight. They gave away like 750 hats and all kinds of free uh, dinners for everybody tonight at Irwindale Speedway. And uh, hats off uh, to uh, the Dodge Dealers Association for putting on a great show out here tonight. Hey, I saw a 426 Hemi in a two-door coupe from the late 60s. It was... I was impressed. There were some pretty Dodges in the parking lot. They had all kinds of uh, cars on display out here. As of course, Dodge is the... Uh, is the weekly presenting sponsor for the weekly racing series in NASCAR. More than 80 racetracks around the country uh, use and uh, are a part of that whole Dodge Series sponsorship. And certainly uh, no more place here than uh, Irwindale Speedway are they well promoted and well represented. And uh, we appreciate their effort. Putting the field together behind the pace car right now, looking for a potential green, although one of the safety units is out on the racetrack to check and see a report of some debris or fluid down. And they certainly want to make sure they get that straightened out before we go. Caution flag is uh, still waving here. We have not uh, got this one started yet. want to mention that Tony Brincotti had a great run just a week or so ago and uh, managed to pick himself up a checkered flag. Man, was he excited. For the whole Brincotti family, they don't live more than about 8 or 10 miles from this racetrack. And there are two brothers that run very hard Fords out here. And they've done well, but haven't gotten it to the checkered flag the way you'd want to. But they, 
got it handled now. And in fact, a front row start as you're looking at the number 22, the first one behind a pace car. That is Tony Brincotti, and luck has turned for him. We'll see if it continues. Miller Lite Big Ten Challenge Series, and uh, certainly uh, we want to uh, say uh, hello to all of our friends at Miller Lite, the official beer here at the racetrack, and uh, wow, what a great group that uh, that they've assembled uh, promotionally wise. And the Miller girls are out here tonight, and uh, and certainly all the race fans are enjoying uh, all the festivities as we got people taking rides in the pace car, the Advantage Ford pace car there. Yellow flag is waving. We're uh, still uh, haven't started this one yet. You see a great crowd on hand tonight, Bruce. I was back in Milwaukee at the Miller factory. You know what? I could spend a week there, but I'm afraid I need a designated driver. <laughs> Probably so. The race fans are having a big night here at the racetrack. And uh, once again, if, if you haven't made your way out for some great summertime racing here at the Speedway, you need to make your way out. And if you don't know where Irwindale Speedway is, pretty simple. Just right down the street from Pasadena, 210 and the uh, 605 freeway. Uh, you can't miss it there. And uh, the lights will always show you the way if you make it over here at night. So just a beautiful racetrack, and uh, they've done great things here. The drag strip here done tremendous uh, over the past uh, few weeks in the summertime. A lot of folks coming out on Thursday night to kind of, it's kind of a boys' night out, fun deal out here at the hundreds, racetrack. Yeah. Hundreds of entries on Thursday nights. The grandstands are full, and, and you know what? It's taken the street racing down a notch or two around the L.A. area. They've got somewhere they can really come play. Eight-mile drag strip, nothing but fun on a Thursday night. So if you can't make it out on Saturday night, come on out on Thursday night and have some fun with us. And our season continues clear up through turkey night. So if you've got nothing better to do on turkey night, come on out with us. The USAC Midgets will be here for the Turkey Night Grand Prix. Round number five of the Miller Lite Big Ten Challenge Series, and it's the Southern California Dodge Dealers 75. Lights are out on the pace car. We're going to get a green flag here in just a minute. And I think we got ourselves a good one brewing tonight, Bruce. Tony Brunkati, Ben Walker, the front row. Brandon Lovrock and Kazuto Yanagawa, the second row. The pace car is out of the way. The third row will be Nick DeFazio and Tony Green. And here we come looking for green, green, green. We're racing. set ourselves a wreck there as Brunconi got into the side of Walker completing lap number one but Ben Walker's going to lead it and I wonder Bruce you think he did any damage to Walker's car when he caught him there we'll know in another lap or two meanwhile Love Rock is going right for the throat down low Brandon Love Rock gets underneath Walker and Love Rock leads them as they come around to complete lap two I'm not so sure Ben Walker didn't just think you know what I'm just going to check up here a minute and make sure everything's okay on my race car and that opened up the door for Love Rock well, Love Rock turning an 18-5, that's, that's a real good qualifying effort for that lap. Yeah, that was a, that was a tough deal there. Brute Cotty just, uh, you know, got into the side of uh, the 35, and that opened up the door for Love Rock, who watched all of that happen. And you know what? You guys are going to fool around like that at the first of this one. I'm going to get out front real quick and get gone. Meanwhile, Kazuto Yanagawa moves up into the third place spot, and Tony Brunkati got relegated clear back to fourth, but gathered at, it in. Bruce, let's look at this one more time, the replay of, of that start there with Brunkati and the 35 of uh, Ben Walker. There you see the 22 on the bottom. He looks like he just loses the nose of it there a little bit, and... Uh, you know, you got to wonder if that didn't put some damage over there on that right or left rear of uh, the 35 car. Yeah, the 35 car testing that uh, left rear tire right now. As the 99 of Love Rock got the break in that traffic, leads it. The 35 of Walker is second. You're looking at first and second. Behind them, third place is Yanagawa, and then Brunkati, the early leader. And, and as you know, as I was looking at Ben's uh, uh, left rear there, I didn't see any smoke coming off on it. I think he's probably okay. Well, there is a bunch coming right there. That's Tony Green, 89, and the 20 of DeFazio, and the 98 of Tommy Fry. They are hammering at each other for fifth place. Front four, and then behind him, look at the war for fifth. Brandon Lovrock doing the job there. You know, I talked to him this afternoon. He was excited about uh, his opportunity here. His team's really kind of turned around here this uh second half or beginning of the second half of the season well i would guess brandon is up to the second place in overall points on the season long and uh, if he keeps driving the way he is right now we're going to put him at the top of that list yeah love rock is uh doing the job up front and you know this afternoon like i said i visited with him and you know and i asked him uh, about you know what are your realistic goals for your team from now to the end of the year 
point into the season, you know, we, we come out just to win races. And now, being so close, like you said, now we have to use our head and, and point race pretty much. You know, take the fifth, the fourth, you know, take finishes like that. You know, maybe don't chance it. Not chancing anything tonight, but he's starting to feel the heat of the 35 car, Bruce. There is Walker getting underneath Love Rock in the battle at the point. Last time they crossed the start finish line, there was one tenth of a second between them. I think it'll be a little closer this time. In fact, scoring said Walker was leading at the stripe. Brandon really had a handful of steering wheel. You could see right in the windshield of his car there that last time around. And, uh, you know, I think he's using his head like he's supposed to, just kind of sitting back going, okay, I'm not going to push the point, but guess who is? The 27 of Kazuto Yanagawa is putting the pressure on, and the uh, challenge is for second place as Yanagawa gets underneath Love Rock. KZ, as he's, a, you know, affectionately known around uh, these parts of the racetrack there, is a guy that we know will stick his nose in and wherever he thinks he can to uh, to try to race your heart, sometimes successfully, sometimes not. More successful later here, this season. Of the first year we opened the door, it was like Kazuto Yanagawa had to autograph several different parts of the concrete wall around here. Every he's, week. He's been a lot nicer on equipment this year and up at the front battling consistently. 35, Walker is your leader. Then Yanagawa, Love Rock third. Tony Brincotti was the point sitter, or, or sitting on the lead when we went green, yeah. is now fourth. 89, Tony Green is fifth. 54, Tim Woods the third just took over the sixth place spot. You know, you wonder uh, about these race cars, and, and you know, they race here primarily each and every week, and Ben Walker was a guy I talked to this afternoon about, you know, has your race car really changed that much since the start of this season? I think I've changed a little bit. You know, after driving the tour cars last year with a lot more horsepower, and I'm just figuring these things out again. So the, the little bit of power we have is, is a little bit bigger adjustment to get used to. And, I mean, when we had a hurt motor last week, the thing was horrible. So I kept, I mean, I was flipping on both ignition boxes, doing everything I could, and we got it fixed, though. So, I mean, the power alone will set the race car and get it to go through the corner. When you got no power, it's not going to help you anywhere, getting in or off. And, you know, with a cylinder down, obviously that would make it very difficult to uh, get up off the corner. Looks like he doesn't have any problem with power tonight. You know, we talk about second-generation race car drivers. His daddy used to run a sprint car at Ascot. His brother still makes occasional outings with the world of outlaws uh, with a sprinter with a wing on top. I'm impressed with KZ. He's, uh, he's holding on there. He's not losing a lot of ground to the leader right now either. Four-tenths of a second back of Ben Mucker is Yanagawa. Now you're looking at the 54 and the 89. This is the battle for fifth place. Tony Green has it. Tim Woods, the third in the 54 car, wants to take it away from him. Timmy Woods has uh, been way overdue for a decent run out here, and uh, maybe tonight he can get uh, get something going. Just off of them a little bit is the 18 of Nathan Wolf. Wolf shown in the seventh place spot. He's lapping quite strongly also. And he's another guy that desperately needs to make the second half of this year a whole lot better than the first half was. Nick DeFazio there also doing a, a good job there in the 20 car, the uh, Southern California Pipe Trade sponsored car. You're back up front there with Tony Green in the uh, 89 and the 54 Timmy Woods. 42 of Reynolds right in there. That's the kind of rainbow colored one. The 42 of Reynolds. Back in the 13th spot. Yeah. Uh, scoring behind DeFazio as we pick back up with Tony Green and the 54 of TW3, Tim Woods the third. Glad you're on board, Fox Sports Net. Great racing from Irwindale Speedway each and every week, either live here in person on a Saturday night or a Thursday uh, evening here on Fox Sports Net. We're glad to have you on board. We're going to take a timeout with 21 laps complete. The leader is Ben Walker. KZ Yanagawa runs in second. We'll be back with more from Irwindale right after this. We're back at Irwindale Speedway. Ben Walker has got the lead up front there, the 35, the 27 of KZ Yanagawa in the second spot. It's the Southern California Dodge Dealer 75, and it's round number five of the Miller Lite Big Ten Challenge Series. I'm Pat Patterson. Bruce Flanders is alongside. Jennifer Salt is down in the pits. Walker's looking good there, Bruce. Yeah, it says North Hills, California is his home. That's a place up near Santa Clarita where all the earthquakes start and then move through here. I don't even want to talk about okay. it. Don't even mention earthquakes, me, California here. We don't, don't even want to go there, okay? It just 
isn't part of what I'm thinking about. It's certainly in what KZ's thinking about. He started to put the heat on Walker. Now another good battle. Nathan Wolf working on Timmy Woods. Nathan Wolf is sixth place. Tim Woods the third is in the fifth place spot. And right in front of them is another position they could pick up because that would be Tony, Tony Green. Green. Now, Tim Woods the third. I don't know if we've told this story in a while, but for you old drag racing guys who can remember the Stone, Woods, and Cook and Willies, well, that was his grandfather. That was Tim Woods' grandfather who was involved in that. The Stone, Woods, and Cook, still, according to the Revell model people, the biggest selling drag racing model kit there ever was. No kidding. Good racing going on now between he and the 18 and Nathan Wolf. And uh, moving up quickly on Tony Green. Tony Green may set the pick for Nathan Wolf here in a second. They're all lapping in the 19-1 region, and that is flat, swooping around a half mile. Nathan Wolf working the inside. They're doing a good job there. And uh, again, you know, Nathan's a guy who uh, who's had a lot of success here, uh, but but has had a slow start to this season. And uh, basically, I asked Nathan this afternoon. You know, racers need to to have experience at other racetracks, and he's run a Craftsman Truck Series uh, race or attempted to uh, recently, and both was up at Mesa Marin. I talked to him about that this afternoon. Yes, definitely. You know, you come to respect, especially the facilities like Irwindale has. I mean, far none, this is the best place to be at. Um, California weather, we were back in Memphis, and uh, that was quite hot and wet. So, you know, it was nice to get away, but it's always great to come back as well. Always great to come back and uh, and run particularly. Looks like he, he's got his car straightened out from the problems they were having earlier. Boy, and they were trying to make that three wide, but the 54 car just couldn't quite get it wedged in there. Again, you're looking at the battle. 89 green, 18 wolf, 54 woods. That is fourth, fifth, and sixth the last time they crossed the stripe, and now they're three wide. 31 laps complete, and they're battling like it's the last lap. Three wide coming out of turn number three. Wow. And everybody held their position pretty well. Timmy Woods did a good job of not getting into the side of Wolf right there. I don't know how. I think everybody held their breath, too. Yeah, I think they really did. This is a great race on the racetrack right now between these three guys. Working lap number 33, going 75. It's Irwindale Speedway if you're just tuning in. And we're looking at a heck of a battle for fourth, fifth, and sixth position. Check this out, Bruce. Look at this one more time as we go back and watch these guys go three abreast. Look how tight this is. Yeah, it happens at every half mile across oh, the United States. What? What a great race going on between these three guys. Does it get any better on a Saturday night than that? I don't know. Here's the 18 of Wolf trying the 89 of Green one more time. This time, Tim Woods has just got a good seat to watch it. Glad you're on board, Fox Sports Net. Man, we are cooking at Irwindale tonight. You're watching the battle back there at the 89 of Tony Green trying to hold on to fourth place. And Nathan Wood thinking, you know what, boys? I'm going to check out if I can get around uh, this 89 car. 18 Wolf scored fourth place last time by the stripe. And look, Tim Woods trying the low line on Green also. They are completing lap number 36. We are rapidly approaching halfway in a 75 lapper. All right, let's get back up front here and see what's going on. KZ has still got the bit in his mouth trying to hang on to the 35. Ben Walker in the 35 has led almost every single lap, and Yanagawa has picked him up and is now only two tenths of a second behind him as they complete lap number 37. Now, we'll have to check with our stat guy here, but tell me, Bruce, I think you would remember this. Has KZ ever won a race here? A trophy dash. A trophy dash, but not a main event, right? Not, not to my knowledge, not a main. Well, that would be big tonight if KZ can hang on and, uh, and possibly win one here tonight. He's certainly given Ben Walker a handful. Yes. Now, Walker has won several of them, both trophy dashes and main events. And look at this. It looked to me like Yanagawa was making a serious run at him there for a moment. Had to back out of it, though. Battle for the lead. Southern California Dodge Dealer 75. It's the round number five of the Miller Lite Big Ten Challenge Series. And you're watching the battle for the lead. That's Casey Yanagawa in the 27 car working hard on Ben Walker, the points leader in the Miller Lite Challenge Series. They just went around the 111 of Dion Young and put him down a lap. That would leave us a total of 19 cars still on the lead lap. Watching again this battle between Nathan Wolf and uh, Timmy Woods. That's cooled off somewhat here uh, in the uh, latter part of this, of this race. 40 laps complete. 40 down, 35 to go. Oh, wait, I said announcers shouldn't practice math in public. I'm doing my There you math. go. We were, we were trying to make that work. 
Nevertheless, we're going to take another time out as uh, the action is hot here at the racetrack tonight. Stick around, everybody. More Janet King Super Late Models in Irwindale after this. Back at Irwindale Speedway, Pat Patterson along with Bruce Flanders and Jennifer Saltis. You're watching the battle for the lead. KZ Yanagawa in the red car, Ben Walker in the blue car. Man, Bruce, these guys have been tied together since the drop of the green flag. And here comes the traffic that we know can play a big difference here. As they come off of the corner, you're going to start seeing the traffic that is mounting in front of them, starting with the 98 at Tommy Fry that they'll get to first. There you can see Fry. But Fry is not alone. There's more traffic there. There's Gary Jenkins in the 79 and Nick DeFazio, I think, in the 20 is there also. And Walker trying to figure out how to swoop them all quickly on the outside. And this is not KZ's strong suit. This is where KZ usually runs into problems, is trying to work around lap traffic. We'll see if he's gotten any better at it tonight. But no normally when he's had a run going like this, it's been a lap car or a, a lap situation that's, that's uh, tripped him up. Well, so far, he's doing it just right as he got in line behind Walker and says, I'll follow you, dude. Where are we going next? Walker comes by, completes lap 45. He's one-tenth of a second in front of Yanagawa, according to the computer. And they put a lap on the 79 of Gary Jenkins there, who was the 14th runner. So now we've only got 13 of them on the lead lap. Ben Walker is uh, a guy that's focused on winning both championships here at the racetrack, and we had a chance to... Uh talk to him a little bit this afternoon as well and uh, ask him a couple of different questions. One of them I said is, you know, basically, uh, you know, are you set up to run that second half of the season? Have you got everything in place you need to have ready to go? Well, I finally got some sponsors, so uh, now I got money to where I can come and test on Friday night and, and throw some things at it, throw springs at it, throw shocks at it. Throw, you know, rebuild the motor when it needs it. Do everything we can to, to, to be where I where I once was, you know, a year ago, two years ago. So, just the money alone has helped me get a bigger confidence level to come out and run with everybody and hopefully beat them. Well, I think obviously the uh, sponsorship and being able to practice is a big deal, Bruce. Oh, that would have to work into the equation somewhere. Walker in front. There's Yanagawa. Now you got to go a long way back from them. You got to go seven seconds back up the racetrack to find the 22 of Brincati and the 18 of Wolf. They're running third and fourth place, but there's seven seconds back. Yeah. Putting on a great show though back there. They really, really are. And like we said earlier, Brincati got a win uh, just a, a week or so ago here. So uh, he's got the confidence. He's got momentum, and, and he's trying to hang on and get himself another good top five finish tonight. Working 50 laps now complete. 50 down, 25 to go. So how's your tires? I'll bet that question's going on inside several helmets out there. Absolutely is, and uh, we're certainly uh, going to be interested to see how the last 25 laps or so play out here. 50 complete. We're going to take another time out here at Irwindale Speedway, and we'll come back with more exciting Jana King Super Late Models Miller Lite Big Ten Challenge Series round number five right after this. Back at Irwindale Speedway, where we have got a change in the top running order. We've got a caution come out on the racetrack. And Bruce, apparently a problem for the guy who was running right up front tonight. Number 27, Kazuto Yanagawa. It looked to me like a motor let's go there. Our guys have alertly picked him up. He's down on the one-third mile, the shorter track here. And apparently he's done. He heard it. And I think he probably oh, even smelled it. What a tough break. That was the most... That was the... Uh, terrific race that he was running. I don't know how better to describe it. He had a good solid second. He was seven seconds up on third place and right on the back end of the leader. And he was doing the job. You know, I was talking about how, how much trouble he's had with lap traffic and so forth in the past. Not tonight. I mean, he was doing a great job. Hats off to KZ tonight for uh, the run that he was putting forth. Yep. Yep. And you know what? He's picking up a lot of friends in this grandstands, too. I think people love to holler for KZ, and, and, and why not? You know, he has made the effort. He's out here. He's one of those guys that just says, never say die, and he's sticking right with it. And uh, we've got caution on the racetrack. We're going to have to clean some things up. And uh, the safety crews are uh, out on the racetrack right now inspecting it to make sure that, uh, you know, we don't have uh, any fluids on the racetrack. And, uh, yeah, tough break for KZ. Yeah, we're just watching inside. He's trying not to let any of it show. And our safety crew is trying to make sure that there isn't any fluids coming out of the car right where it sits now. They're also out on the racetrack with another safety rig, checking to make sure that there isn't anything they need to clean up there. But the 27 is done, 
after running second for about 40 some odd laps of this race. And that's going to move Nathan Wolf up to the second spot. And, and again, we talk about getting brakes and getting things going your way. He's had a good race car. He's certainly not been as fast as Ben Walker. This afternoon, I asked Nathan, I said, now the second half of the season, you know, what are you looking for? What are the things that you need to find that little bit more speed? All right, you want me to reset the question? You ready? And again, Nathan Wolf is up to second place. We talked to him this afternoon, and I asked Nathan, I said, you know, what's it going to take to get you that little bit more you're going to need to be competitive the second half of the season? Uh, you know, we brand second twice in a row. You know, we feel like we're finding it, but, you know, as soon as you think you have it, you lose it. And it's like you fall back a couple steps and, you know, we work forward. So we're looking for our first win this year. Last year we won two, and I was kind of surprised not to be able to come back out and win. But the competition here is so stiff that, you know, just slightly off and you miss it. Well, he's looking for that first win. Could it come tonight, Bruce? It could, and one other thing that he just gained under this yellow flag is he was seven seconds back of Mr. Walker, and now he is right on the tail. They're going to line up in two rows. You'll see the lap cars on the low line, but the lead lap cars on the high line. They, When they cross the stripe this time by, 57 laps will be down. And one to uh, go. They're showing them one to green. One to go. Glad you're on board Fox Sports Net for great racing from Irwindale Speedway. Lights are out on the pace car. Very few laps left to go. Saturday night, under the lights. <laughs> Getting better this, Bruce. Yeah. Check your belts at home. Make sure that you're cinched up solid to the sofa because exactly. this could be good. Make sure you and your spotter got it together because we're going to really fire them up here for the next uh, 15 or so laps to uh, to settle this one. Coming back, looking for a green flag. Ben Walker's your leader. Pace car is off, and here they come off of turn number four. Throttles come up. Flag turns green, and let's race. That's Walker getting away from him, but it's Wolf trying to stay with him in the 18 car. The 22 of Rincotti, third. The 54 of Woods is fourth. The 04 of Sadler is fifth. Ben Walker got a great jump. I mean, great jump. And one of the things that Ben Walker talked about a little bit earlier on in the show was running the tour cars last year and running against some guys that, you know, you know are really maybe a, a marginally better than these cats. And you could tell it right then that he, he put that experience to good use on that restart. Walker in front of it. Wolf in second. Brincotti starting to get some breaks in traffic. The 22 car at the front of that bunch you're looking at. Brincotti up to the third spot. The 54 of Woods is fourth, but not right there close to him at the moment. I lied. He's right in there behind him now. Great racing going on back there in the back, let me tell you. I mean, really great racing. I asked Tony Brincotti, as you see coming out of the screen right there, what it was like to get that first win last week. Yeah, absolutely. Our team just works real hard. Sometimes we play Ford Motorsports, uh, BG Products. They just, they, they do a heck of a job. Um, we had so many breaks and needed this one. Great win for Tony Brucotti and a good run going here tonight. 62 laps are complete of the 75 we're going. Walker in front of Wolf by three tenths of a second right now. Ben Brucotti back another seven tenths in the 22 car. Good race. Walker feeling the heat of the 18. And I think that, you know, the 18's got the smell that he could win one tonight. And he's putting it all over Ben Walker. I think you're right on every count that you just mentioned. The 18 car of Wolf is just flat on Walker's tail. You're looking at Brincotti getting a little pressure from Tim Wolf. I think third. I mean, there's a pass for the lead there. The 18 almost got around to 35. This battle up front is great. Look at, look at uh, Wolf go to the bottom there against Walker. Walker keeping the momentum line, the one that's a little higher on the racetrack and allows him to keep the RPM up a little bit more. But there's Wolf diving underneath him once again. It looks like Ben Walker gets a good run off of the corner and tightens it back up, you know, when they get midway down the back or front stretch. But, uh, you know, Nathan Wolf may make that work down there. One tenth of a second, the computer said at the stripe. Now they go on to the back straightaway and there's door not a Door to tenth. door. Look at that. Oh, almost gets into Walker there. 
boy, the crowd is loving it here, too. We can hear them outside the booth. And at the stripe, it was still Walker, but this time by 16 thousandths of a second. Check it out. Nine laps to go. These guys door to door down the backstretch, and we got ourselves a great race. Uh, this is round number five of the Miller Lite Challenge Series at Irwindale Speedway, and Nathan Wolf working hard on the bottom. Well, both of them are working. Walker had a real good come off the turn four that time. 67 laps complete. Differential, 85 one thousandths of a second. This is great short track racing that you're accustomed to seeing every Saturday night out here at Irwindale Speedway. And Ben Walker right now and Nathan Wolf are uh, putting on a, a masterful performance out there for the super late models. But we've got great racing all the way back through the first top five spots. Two tenths of a second was the spread that time as Mr. Walker got a break in some traffic, and I think Mr. Wolf has challenged the heck out of his tires. Well, yeah, exactly. That was the next thing I was going to say, Bruce. I think he's flat burn him up is what it's added up to. I don't think he's got anything for him now. Lap 69 is in the books as they go down into turn number one. Five to go. Next time by for the leader, Ben Walker. Tim Woods, the third, holds the third place spot. The 22 of Brincotti, fourth. Then Steven Sadler, fifth. Tony Green, Kevin Vernon, Brent Reynolds, Charlie Utz, and Keith Spangler. I may have spoke too soon. He may be just cooling those tires off, Bruce, to take one more run at him. 11 cars on the lead lap, but those are the two that count, the ones that just went by, Walker and Wolf, in that order. This is a great battle up front. 71 laps complete when they come by the stripe this time. And we'll see if Nathan Wolf has saved anything at all for um, Ben Walker here. Well, you're setting up the stage. I can't do it any better than that. This is this is whether or not there are any aces up the sleeve in the 18 car, Nathan Wolf. Four laps to go. The bat for the lead right up front for the Janet King Super Late Models. And Nathan almost does the nose job right up under uh, the 35 of Walker. This is a great race up front. Take a look at him. The computer last time said two tenths of a second between them, but I, that's wow! I don't. I can hardly believe that. 72 laps. If Nathan's got anything for Walker, he's got to go for it now because he's running out of laps. When they cross this time, it'll be 73. In fact, 73 down now. They're down into turn one. White flag coming out next time by for Ben Walker in the 35 car. Nathan Wolf trying hard back there in second place to pick up the win tonight. Through turn three into four. As they come off, Wolf is closed right up tight against him. Oh, it's tight. They come back. The white flag is in the air. This is it. Last lap for all the marbles. Nathan goes low, trying to make the move on the 35. Can he make it stick? Oh, oh he, gets out he of shape. almost spun it out. Nice save. Nice save and a great line for Ben Walker. Ben Walker is going to ride it around to the checkered flag, but Nathan Wolf made him earn every ounce of that one. Walker wins at Irwindale. All right, Walker the winner, Wolf is second. Tim Woods the third gets home third. Tony Brincotti, Steven Sadler, Tony Green, Kevin Vernon, Brent Reynolds, Charlie Utz, and Keith Spangler making up the top 10, and there were 11 of them on the lead left. The margin of victory was .438. And you can see Ben Walker shaking his head inside that car going, wow, how did I pull that off? Folks, I challenge you to find any better Saturday night racing anywhere in this country better than what you just saw right here at Irwindale. Plenty good call on that one. Let's Here take you. let's take another look, Bruce, at the, at the way this one came down. Man, I thought Nathan Wolf had something for him, and he just about did. And he really, really went low on the corner. Car came, came back up off the corner, gets right there, and he loses the back end of it right around right, smartly checks it up because no use in not getting a finish here tonight. Oh, no, might as well finish second as hard as you worked. Wow. What a great run. One more look at it. Look how low he is. Oh, yeah, he's right down on the bottom of the racetrack, which was the only choice he had. And, uh, you know, you could always try to intimidate uh, uh, Walker, but Walker was too smart for that, drove his line, and he got the win. But Nathan Wolf made him earn it. Impressive ride tonight. Great racing here at Irwindale Speedway. And we got uh, some pretty excited guys to talk to. So stick around, everybody. We'll be back with more from Irwindale right after this. Back at Irwindale Speedway, Pat Patterson, Bruce Flanders, and Jennifer Saltis, where we have just seen one of the best finishes in the Janet King Super Late Models that uh, you'll ever see here at the racetrack. It is the Southern California Dodge Dealer 75. It's all over with. Let's get down trackside to Jennifer Saltis and our winner, Ben Walker. Woo! Ben Walker, you certainly have these villain nights figured out. Oh, oh, boy, I don't know about tonight, man. I just worked my butt off, but I did it. <laughs> you did it. You had Casey working here for the first, well, about 50 laps, and then
Nathan, yeah, Nathan Wolf under there. The last one, he's going to be a fun race. Yeah, I was a little worried with Casey and Lewis tires because I think we had about an identical car, so I just took it easy there at the end. But, uh, I'm happy. I love everything. I love Fox Sports and that. Everything. I just love it. I'm happy. Great to be happy, Trevor. Nice finish for you tonight. Thanks very much, Jennifer Saltis. What a great run for Ben Walker Bruce. And uh, stick around, everybody. We're going to take one final timeout, and we'll be back with more uh, to hear from uh, the second and third place finishers right after this. Tonight's telecast of the Southern California Dodge Dealer 75 here at Irwindale Speedway has been brought to you by Dodge. Grab life by the horns. By the Auto Club of Southern California. A century of service. By Miller Lite, where there's a race fan, there's a Miller Lite. By Jana King, proud sponsors of the Jana King Super Late Model Series at Irwindale and the official janitorial service of Irwindale Speedway. And by the Four Points Sheridan in Monrovia, the official hotel of Irwindale Speedway. For reservations, call 626-357-5211. Back at Irwindale Speedway, Pat Patterson, Bruce Flanders, and Jennifer Saltis. And wow, what a great one we saw and a great run for the second place finisher. Don't you think, Bruce? I'm quite impressed, especially the part where he kept it off of the wall there when it stepped out on him. Jennifer's with Nathan Wolf. Let's get down to it. Nathan Wolf, you look for everything you could down low. This was nothing left for him. Yeah, just, you know, that's racing. I mean, you pinch him a little tight and you make it harder. And uh, that's what he did. And, you know, congratulations to him. But we're pretty happy with what we finished. We started in 10th, finished second. We're really happy. It's just a tough field to work through. You can work from 10th all the way up first. A lot of fast cars in front of you. But a lot of good racing tonight. Yeah, definitely. That long green flag really helped us out because we were good on the long run. So, I mean, we're happy. We're this for my team. You know, they worked so hard for this. All my sponsors helped us out. So that was for my team. Well, congratulations, Nathan Wolf. Bring some second place finish tonight. Another big 10 championship. Thanks. All right. Thanks very much, Jennifer. You know, Bruce, we talked about guys that need to step up the second half. Certainly, we saw one tonight. Timmy Woods in that third position. He absolutely stepped up tonight, don't you think? I, that was an awfully smooth ride out of Tim Woods. Uh, it, along with Nathan Wolf's that we talked about, it has to rank up there quite highly on yeah, a night. We don't want to forget Casey Yanagawa, who had second place tonight, definitely one of the faster cars. But uh, let's talk. Uh, let's get down trackside with Jennifer right now, who's with Tim Woods. Well, you are a Winston West regular, and it's nice to see you finally up front here at uh, on a Saturday night. Well, it's been tough, long year, but uh, we got a little bit some form uh, this race, and uh, kind of got back on track. So I'm happy. I want to thank my sponsor, Chino Hills Ford, uh, rapper Nelly. Go pick up the new CD. Welcome to Nellyville. Uh, just been, been been a tough year, but uh, we're trying to get back on track. Well, these two guys that finished in front of you both said they had a great time racing tonight. A lot of good racing going on. A lot of good racing, man. You couldn't get any closer than that, and uh, thank God nobody got hurt tonight, and uh, hopefully we put on a good show for the fans. Congratulations. Timmy Woods brings it home third in the Miller Big Ten Championship. All right, thanks, Jim. Great job down on the pit lane tonight. Bruce, let's uh, take a look at uh, how our top ten finishers did. Well, Nathan Wolf, you look for everything you could down low. This was nothing left for him. Yeah, that's what he did. Let's uh, take a look at uh, how our top ten finished here for the uh, Southern California Dodge Dealer 75 and round number five of the Miller Lite Big Ten Challenge. Well, Ben Walker won it. Nathan Wolf second. Wood third you met all of them Tony Bruncati came home in the fourth place spot Steven Stadler Tony Green Kevin Vernon Brent Reynolds Charlie Utz on that first night back since the injury and Keith Spangler rounds out the top yeah seven. I want to say a special welcome back to Charlie Utz and his family always a great pleasure to have them at the racetrack Walker again will add to his points lead for the Miller Lite Big Ten Challenge Series uh, Keith Spangler didn't pick up anything tonight to speak of in terms of points for that series and uh, Tony Green again a good run uh, for him tonight. Solid run in sixth position. So, uh, nevertheless, good run and great racing. And we just just so glad to have you on board on Fox Sports Net to watch all of that. Bruce, we got about close to five or six more of these things to do the rest of the year. That's going to be a lot of fun. And if you're at home listening, come see one live. Absolutely. Get out here to the racetrack right there at the corner of the 210 and 605 freeways. Irwindale Speedway. Got to be the greatest short track anywhere in this country. Get down out here and make a liar out of me if you think you can. That's We'd right. love to have you out here. Bruce, as always, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Jennifer, great job down in the pits. I want to thank all of our camera guys and all the crew down in the truck doing a great job for us here tonight. We'll be back with more great racing from Irwindale on Fox Sports Net. For Jennifer and for Bruce, I'm Pat Patterson saying so long from Irwindale Speedway.